Hello, all you guys and girls out there in the eBay reselling world. It is I, the Turkey Ford Wolf Man, coming back at you with what sold Tuesday morning, 11.40 a.m. I hope y'all had a great night. I know I did. I've got two of these hats. I sold one worth Honda Kawasaki Mount Airy. Brand new old stock rope. That way if you're out camping and you need some rope, it's right there. Got a coffee cup. We sold. So, it's Tuesday. We get our eBay payouts. I outsold my beautiful wife by $275.02 last week. So, I get to go to the Japanese restaurant today. <laughs> Alright, I'm signed in uh, my wife's account. She sold three, totaling a hundred dollars and eighty-two cent. Good job, honey. So together on our both of our eBay stores that my wife and I have, overnight we sold five items totaling two hundred and six dollars and seventy-four cent. Let's get right to it. This bear just sold and was paid for. It. This morning, Starbucks Coffee Plush 88, 88th Edition Holiday Barista Bear Toy Christmas 2009 NOS New Old Stock. She got $11.68 for it plus shipping. And it's going to Margaret in North Carolina down towards the coast. That's our neighbor. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. It must have been an offer. That's kind of an odd price. Oh, he's new with tags. Starbucks. They have bears. They have all types of merch. Mmm. Smells like a, the coffee bean. Alright. Let's back on up here. Next item. scrolling down <clears throat> I typically have both mics on and I don't know what happened yesterday there was an echo so I only have one might be time to buy some new $13 mics off of the Amazon what is this $25 I'm looking at it but I don't know what it is it's Different cutting boards for vegetables and meat. Kitchen artist four piece colored coated plastic cutting board set with stand. It was in a mini warehouse from about two years ago. $25 plus shipping is going to Kennedy in Florida. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Priority mail. Good job. Put that in the uh, 15, 12, 3. Send it on out. Put some paper around it. It is sealed. That one's for turnips. That's carrots. That's onions. And this blue one is for fish. It has a fish on it. Yeah, it was probably in with the notebooks and pencils and stuff on the thrift store shelf. Kind of looks like a folder holder. Oh my goodness. Oh, it and didn't know it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and if I had a bra to sell, I would say, look, it's a boulder holder. But I don't have one, so we'll edit that out. <laughs> Number three, she sold some ink. $27.99. Let's see who's getting this. Oh, she got a little thank you sticker on there. Genuine Epson 522 ink bottles, four pack. It's got a bunch of, you know, Echo Tango numbers. Uh, $27.99 going to Richard in North Carolina in Cherokee. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Richard. He's our neighbor. Ground Advantage, $9 shipping. I guess it's the refill bottles. You just 
pour it in your little cartridge cartridges. There that is. All right, we get to sign into my account. There's the preview hat. It is a upside down McDonald's arches. <sighs> and there's the hat of the video. It's listed on Wolfman's goodies. It's Arrow McLean, McLaren, whatever that is. It's a vape on the back side of the hat. Let us have a moment of silence so I can sign in to the other account. I'm in. Now, once again, don't know why I'm, the numbers are on my 1099 here, but I can't see it. Let me teach you something that y'all may or may not know. So I've sold a coffee cup, and it's going through eBay International Shipping. It's going to Illinois, where they're going to repack it and send it to... Israel, going to the country of Israel, right there. Oh, it's new with tags. The villains, right? <clears throat> so, my shipping that they paid to get it to the eBay International Shipping Hub in Illinois, well, they paid $12 for the cup. In total, on my end, I see eighteen dollars and sixty cent so six dollars sounds about right to ship it to illinois okay do that math the total of this excuse me this order on my end what i see on ebay is eighteen dollars and sixty cent the hat that i sold the honda hat it totals twenty dollars and thirty cents okay so twenty plus eighteen sixty yeah let's just say thirty eight dollars right okay i'm in the selling hub here gonna ship out my items that says i've got two to ship out totaling one hundred and five dollars and ninety two cents no that's it wasn't going overseas that would be 38 39 dollars right so whatever they paid which we can do some math here say 40 bucks and that's 105 so they paid 65 dollars to get that coffee cup from illinois to israel they paid ebay ebay took care of it but apparently it's on my 1099 because i'm seeing the big number right here in my numbers right <clears throat> yeah i've caught that several times i'm like this math is not adding up oh i'll scroll down i go oh two of these are international shipping i don't know how that works but i guess hopefully in the breakdown the ebay gives you and the shipping costs per se my shipping costs last year was fifteen thousand dollars that $65 should be in that number. Hopefully, it's not showing that I cleared that much money on this coffee cup. But anyway, I know I'm hard to follow, but I always thought that was kind of weird. That number should be just like two items for $38. So we, hold, we realistically sold $140 overnight. But enough about me. Y'all tell me something about yourself. Come on, you, you know you can. Don't be bashful. You know I'm not. Just right down there below. Here's the head of the video. Oh, it's a nice one. 920. <laughs> and let's see, we sold a hat, so we better mark it over here. Number four. Somebody just bought the hat number four. Two more, and they get a, two surprises. Green paper and a toy. 
Rolling cart B. Rolling cart B's getting a little full here. You want to see it? There you go. Get you some of that right there. All right, we got that, that, and that. We just got to ship out and go. Vintage Worth Honda Kawasaki Mount Airy, North Carolina. Mayberry Rope Snapback Hat Cap. $12.74 what I got for it. It's going to the Jones family in Tennessee. Our neighbors to the northwest. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Ground Advantage. $5 for shipping. Absolutely awesome. You want to look at it again? Trying to fast forward to the dad jokes. That's what I do too, personally. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Send the coffee cup to Israel. And it's not even religious. It's Disney villains. But anywho, here we go. What do we need? Yep, another sale. Okay, boys and girls out there in the reselling world, it is I, Chad, with a dad joke. Or two. Or three. Oh, green light still on the air. Mm. I see check marks. <clears throat> what did the cow say when it was caught in a traffic jam? Move it. You're welcome. I'm here for you. What's a frog's favorite meal to order at the drive-thru? French flies. Mmm. Why do bananas put sunscreen on? Because otherwise they would peel. I got the itchy nose syndrome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Some kind of creature walking around outside. <laughs> here, you put your face up here. What did one chimney say to the other chimney? Stop smoking. You've been warned. <laughs> What's a porcupine's favorite plant? A hedgehog. She's messing with me. That's good stuff. And I see a LOL. What do you call people in favor of tractors? Pro tractors. How do billboards talk? Sign language. My water faucet fell out the window. Yeah, it hit the ground running. That one makes you think, don't it? How do you catch a bunny? You go behind a bush and make carrot noises. I don't know about that. What is a pirate's favorite subject? Art. Art. Sounds like he's dying. But he really likes to paint and draw stuff. My wife's out there in the yard. Oh no, these haven't been proofread. Well, it's about time to jump off here and ship on out. Take the boy out to uh, lunch. Yeah, spring break week. The sign said, reading is not allowed. So I read my book quietly. If it's not allowed, how do you read the sign? What did the snowman not stand in the corner? Why did the snowman not stand in the corner? Because it was 90 degrees there. 
not too bad. Why do you get into why do you get into the pizza business to make some dough? Sausage puns are the worst. I've got the Trash to Cash podcast playing right there. It drops every Tuesday morning. What do you call it when you put Nutella on salmon? Yeah, chocolate fish. No, did I say that out loud? No, salamana, no, salamana. I can't even say that. That's why you got to proofread them. Nutella and salmon mixed together. Salmonella. It's just nasty. Cook the fish first and you won't get that. What did the worker at the rubber band factory say when he lost his job? Oh, snap. And I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have a great day. Buy something cool to resell out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends and family on the Facebook, Instagram, and whatnot, and this and that. I quit saying that word. It means something else now. But <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.